Hi, everyone. My name is Martine Resta, and um, I teach Eccentrics, which is um, a stretching program. It is set to music, and it really is for all level uh, levels from beginners to advanced. Um, but what you learn as you become familiar with the program is that you work within your own limitations because you get to be aware of what you can and cannot do. But what Eccentrics does, which I find is um, makes this a unique program, is that it allows your body to have the space to feel safe so that you can go farther in a movement than you thought you ever could. So um, what you put into it is what you get out of it. The main uh, purpose of the program is to rebalance the body and decompress the joints. Okay, and we do that by uh, doing our movements in the lengthened position for the most part. Um, so it's kind of like a Jenga puzzle. If you were to uh, take a piece out and the rest was not balanced, it will fall down. And you got to think of your body like that as well. If there's some uh, part of your body that has not been used, one of the muscles, it starts to atrophy and then it affects the rest of your body. So we hit everything, all right? So we call it a, a full body workout and follow along and give it a try if you'd like. Um, as I said, it's, it's gentle and um, see how you feel. It feels wonderful afterwards. I'm gonna start out with a bit of a warm up to get the uh, blood flowing and the oxygen going. So I want you to just stand up straight to begin with and then step to the side and step to the side. Put your hands right here on your hips as you do that. Side touch, side touch. Good, feel that hip bone going. We're gonna pick it up a little bit. One, two, three, four. Keep it going. We're just loosening up the joint here in the hips. We do a lot of hip decompression. Let's give a little bend in the leg. You can lift your arms nice and loose also. Get that leg over to the side so you feel the stretch in the top of your hips. Good. And let's go side to side again, but this time we're gonna point. So bend and point, bend and point. Good. We're gonna keep that motion going. And let's add the arms from side to side. We're gonna do this nice and loose. So I want you to just think about bending your elbow, relaxing your fingertips. Let's go with the other arm. Relaxing your shoulder. And just flopping down. The accent is on the down and down. Good, both arms. Relax everything. Relax your shoulders especially. Because we really want to warm them up. But now we're going to kind of imagine we're swishing through water. We want to rotate a bit on the spine. See if you can go a little bit farther. Good. Now we're going to walk the arms straight out. Fine. It's still relaxed. You'll start to feel the blood pumping here. See how I'm reaching up. I'm not putting too much effort into that. Give it a twist. Give it a twist. Good. Let's bring it down to the legs. All right. So up and up. I'm going to show you from the side and up. Up. Try not to collapse in the spine, but bring it up. It doesn't have to be high. We're not being the rockets here. Good. Just warming up the hips again. Let's bring those legs behind, swipe the floor. So we're stretching the quads. Keep it going. Good. Let's go with the hips, side to side. Feel it right here. Both arms, nice and loose. 
Give it a bit of a hesitation at the top. And hold, down, hold, down. Good, one arm. Good. Last one, and we're gonna switch arms to the other side and up. And up. And up. Good. Deep breath, breathe in. Breathe out. So in eccentrics, we do have certain uh, positions that we use over and over again. One of them being just simple neutral elongation, which is standing up straight, okay? Um, standing up straight, though, means a lot of things. But you, you begin to learn when you're off balance with that. Um, let's bend the knees a little bit. Sometimes I will be turning to the side so you can get a better idea of what it looks like, right? So here, I'm straight, my back is straight. All I'm gonna do is bend my knees, just like this, good. Then I'm gonna bring my elbows in front and I'm gonna round my lower back here a little bit and drop my shoulders, good. Lengthen in the spine and just kind of open up, bend the knees here. Good, let's do that again, around. Nice, open. Open the back. Slide down. So we're rounding the back here naturally as we do this. And you're gonna slide down and just let your head hang heavy, your arms hang heavy. Feel that wonderful stretch and sway from one side to the other can imagine you're swishing your hands through water. Good, come center. Roll up, starting from the base of your spine. I know you wanna peek at me, but try to uncurl your spine from the bottom up. Good. Bring your arms in front of you, and as you come up, you're gonna think about lengthening, lengthening, lengthening in the spine, reaching up. Good, let's bend one arm and reach with the other. Feeling a stretch right here. Nice. Let's go to the other side and reach, but you're relaxed here in the shoulders. Good, both arms up and flip the palms out and bring your focus to your shoulder blades here. Just let them slide down towards the floor. Beautiful, slide down again. Let your arms hang heavy. Head is heavy. Swaying to one side, sway to the other. Come center, uncurl from the base of your spine. Gently let your arms float in front of you as you bring your arms up again. Nice, relax your shoulders here, good. Turning to the side so you can see this. Imagine you're reaching over a beach ball. Give a bit of a stretch to our thoracic spine. Relax the shoulders, good. Reach up with both arms, flip the palms, and bring the arms right down. Soften the knees here. Drop your shoulders, round your lower back. Touch your shoulders. Elbows up, feel the space between your shoulder blades. They're spreading right out. Bring the arms behind you, flip the palms up. Nice. Bring your arms in front. Think about pushing through your feet here. Little reach toward me, tiny reach, only about an inch or so. Good, now use your abs as you lift your arms up. Breathe in. Lift the palms again. Let your breath out. Bring your arms nice and relaxed in front. Relaxed arm here. Up. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. Good. 
lift the palms again and relax your shoulders relax your shoulder blades and down nice all right so now that we got the shoulders a bit more warmed up I want to um, talk about side to side lunges, which is something that we use a lot in eccentrics. So you want to be more than hip width apart here, okay? But we're still straight in the spine. We're not here or there. Straight in the spine, just a little wider than our hips. And we're going to bend one knee, the other leg is straight. So the hip is dropped here, over over drop the hip drop the hip so those are side to side lunges and I want you to stop right here look at your knee the idea is we don't want to go too far over because that'll hurt your knees we don't want to do that so check to see if you see your toes there it's what we want to see okay let's give it a little bit of a pump good Put your hand right here on your shoulder. Now you can keep your arm down low if you have issues with your shoulders, which a lot of people do. So what we're doing is rotating inward and outward. So palm up one way and then the other way. Let's keep it inward right here. We're gonna lunge to the other side and gently reach with our arm, relaxed elbow, relaxed arm, bring it up and down. Good, let's do that again. Arm comes up, little pumps here, in and out, in and out. Let's keep it in again and one more reach. Now the back is nice and relaxed here. And we're gonna do that same sequence on the other side. Arm comes up, bit of a pump. Check your knee, doesn't go too far over. I like to touch my shoulder just so that I know where to focus, right? Let's go down. If you focus in one spot, it kind of brings your brain there so you can tell it to relax. And if you can go higher, go higher. And if you can't, you work within your limits, okay? That's what's the most important here. Reach and over now i want you to stay here reach up imagine that you're grabbing an elastic so we're creating some tension as we bring it down right towards your hip so you have your elbow bent there and reach pull down up reach pull and down we're going to pick it up just a few times actually just two stay here bend the elbow we're going to round the upper back as you come across bring it out to the side and lift good bend the elbow again stay here straighten the arm this time reach up and let it go stay here up and reach for that elastic pull and down and up and up and pull down to the hip, double time, reach, and down, and reach, and down. Keep it up, bend the elbow, round the lower back, come across. This should feel really good here. Bring it up and over, bend the elbow, straighten the arm, use your abs to lift, bring it up. Good. Now what I want to do is bring our attention down to our feet. So I'm going to angle the camera down a little bit so you can see my feet better. Okay? So again, you don't want to overdo it with the feet. I'll show you slightly on an angle. Because believe it or not, we can hurt the feet if we push it too far. There's a lot of ligaments and little muscles and tendons going on in there. Up and up, good. Stay up on the ball. Give it a little bit of a point, don't force it. Ball and then let the heel come down. Good, let's do that again. 
Ball, point, ball, heel comes down. Let's lift the toes here. And back on the ball and point. All right, let's go on the other side. Ball, point, ball, heel down. Ball, point, heel down, lift the toes. Down, ball, and point. Ball, heel, good. Now, the other thing I forgot to mention is we use the chair a lot if you need it for balance. If you don't need it for balance, you can go ahead and see what, how your balance is doing today. All right, we're gonna put all the weight on one leg. Hold on to the chair if you need to. Good, let's try to wiggle the toes. Good. Let's go with the ankles. See if you can just focus on the ankles. Give it a bit of a circle. Let's go the other way. Good, shake it out. All right, now what I wanna do, let's go actually, let's do that whole sequence on this side as well. So we're gonna point and flex. Point. Now remember, it's important to make sure that you're not collapsing in the spine, bring it up. Point and flex. Stay nice and pulled up. Let's wiggle the toes. Nice. And around. Let's do that three times. Let's go around the other way. Three times. You've got to find those ankles. Shake it out. All right. Here I want to concentrate a little bit more on the hips, um, but we're gonna finish strengthening the feet first to this song. So what I want you to do is all the weight is on one side, right? You could hold on to the chair and you're gonna put your, the ball of your foot down and squeeze the heel. But this time when you squeeze the heel, you're gonna imagine that you're squeezing an orange, okay? And then you're gonna push off. So ball, squeeze an orange, push off. Again, ball, squeeze, push off. And you kind of give it a bit of a pause when you come up and squeeze. Good. To the side, just a little bit. Up, ball, squeeze, and up. Good, let's do that on the other side. Ball, this is straight ahead first. So all the weight is on this side. Ball, squeeze the heel and up. Ball, squeeze and up. Ball, squeeze and up. You can go to the side, squeeze and up. And it's actually really good to lose your balance because it's getting your brain going. Good, shake it out. Now you can go from side to side on your chair. I'm gonna give you my whole. All right, so all the weight is here. I'm gonna take your one leg and just bring it around and then slide it back. So out, around, and up. Out, around, and up. One more time, out, around, and up. Let's go the other way now. Front, side, back, and in. Front, side, back, and in. You're gonna really feel it in that ball and socket joint. And in, good. Leg comes out, keep it bent. We're gonna just go in and out. In and out. To flex the foot here, it helps. Good. Relax. Other side. Make sure you're pulled up in the spine. All the weight is on this leg. Leg comes out. Bring it around and in. I'm starting backwards this time. Front, side, behind. Good. Let's Go to the back, around, back, side. Good, you should feel that right there, it should feel good. Leg comes up, keep the knee bent, out, 
and in, out and in, out and in. Good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of plies here to give you a sense. And you're like, oh my God, plies like a ballerina. Well, we call them Tai Chi plies, but the idea is again, we're in second position here. And we're also working all the little muscles around our hips and all the groin muscles and the inner leg muscles here. So hip width apart. Again, you want to think about standing up straight. People have a tendency to do this. So I want you to think about pulling your hips back a little bit, but you're actually straight. And from here, we're going to bend the knees, pushing through your feet into the floor, and then come back up. You're going to feel all kinds of muscles activating right here in your legs. So we're, we're utilizing the largest muscle group in your body here. Burns a lot of calories, if that means anyone, anything to anyone. Push up and down. Now stay here. Relax. Relax from here up. Push through your feet. That really helps. Um, anchor yourself into the floor. I want you to think about your tailbone here. Smile to the side. Up. Gonna feel a bit of a stretch in the groin area here. Good. Now we're gonna go down. Two, three, squeeze it up. Now make sure you don't go too far over. Again, with your knees, squeeze it up. You'll feel it in your hips too when you squeeze coming up. Good. Remember we came up on the ball of the foot? Gonna do that again. Squeeze the heel down. Other side, ball of the foot. Feel that stretch right here. Squeeze it down. Good. Let's give it a little bit of a release here. Bring it up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Now we're going to take this hip and push it to the back wall. The other leg straighten. Feel that stretch right here. Nice and gentle. Hope the music is not too loud. Other way, take this hip, push it to the back wall. Feel that stretch. Go over to the other side again. Now you'll notice one side is way less tight than the other. And it seems to always be that way. Good. Let's give it a release. Push down into your feet. Lift up. Breathing in and breathing out. Nice. All right, we're gonna work with my favorite muscle right now. And that's the psoas muscle. That's the front of your hip, feeds into your spine. So I'm gonna turn to the side, but this is the leg we're working with. So if you can mirror me, you'll get less confused if possible. So take that leg, put it back. You're on the ball of your foot already. You should be feeling a nice stretch here. I want you to just give it a bit of a bend in both knees. And stay right here without popping up. Straighten that back leg. Feel more of a stretch here. And now come up. And let's do that again. Down. Don't pop up, straighten that back leg. You're still on the ball of the foot in that back leg. Now come up. I'm gonna face you. I want you to think about bringing all your weight right here to this leg. So you're gonna pop up. You find yourself looking for your balance. Use your chair if you need to. We're gonna go into a slow motion bicycle. That's what we call this. So again, always thinking about lifting in the spine. Bend the leg here. Good. Bring it forward. Flex the foot if you can. Good. Now take this leg and bring it in front. I'm gonna take the other leg and bring it behind us. So I'm gonna show you from this side. Good. Feeling that stretch right here. Bending both knees. 
There should be no pressure in this back knee at all. You'll feel a stretch. If you're doing it properly, in the uh, thigh muscle only up. And let's try going back down again, bending both knees. Without popping up, let's straighten that back leg. These are nice, fluid, slow movements. Good, now we're gonna bring all of our weight onto the front leg and pop. Good, slow motion here. Adjust yourself with your chair if you need to. See, I'm much more wobbly on this side. Again, always thinking about lifting up. Take that leg, drop it onto your heel. Notice my feet, toes are up, okay? Imagine that you're bowing to the queen. So your back is flat and straight. Just want you to hinge at the hips, just fold over and feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings right here. Good. Moving from side to side a little bit with your hip. Good, step forward. And let's do that with the other leg. Bring that leg in front onto your heel so the toes are up. And we're gonna fold over, flat back, straight back. This actually should feel really good. Okay. My gosh, I didn't check the time. All right, now I want you to just relax here like a zombie sway and roll up. So rounded back. Good. Let's bring it to the arms. Now, just because we're working with the fingers and the arms doesn't mean we want to lose our posture, right? We still want to think about finding the middle of our feet. So go back to your heels, forward to your toes. Now come in to the middle. That's where I want you to stay, okay? Let's make a fist. Tight, tight, tight. Open your fingers, open them even more. Relax, good. Do that again, fist, open, stretch them out a little bit more, and relax, good. Your shoulders should be nice and relaxed. Let's bring it to the fingers. Just wiggling the fingers. Let's bring them in. And bring them all the way out. Let's bring them up and down. Shake it out. You're going to feel it right there in your forearm, right? Let's work the wrists, only the wrists. And around and around, but nice and gently here. Be gentle with yourself, right? Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. We're just focusing on the wrists and around. Relax the shoulders and around. Good. Now we're going to really start to get into the arms a bit. I'm going to come closer. Um, you don't have to go into second position. I'm just trying to angle myself here to show you my muscles. <laughs> All right, so I want you to elbows to your waist and take one arm and reach out as if you're pushing open an elevator door. You're gonna feel a decompression right there, a little bit of burning even. All right, bring that in. Let's do that with the other arm. Feel that sensation and bend. Now let's do that with both arms. But before we go there, I want you to bring your shoulders all the way up, drop them, drop them even more. Okay, keep your shoulders down. Open up those elevator doors. Good. And close. And out. 
Curling the hands down, flexing the hands. Keep those shoulders down. Good, keep them down. Hands are flexed here. We're going to just do slow movements with a press. Press, press. So all of these muscles here are contracted. Press, so imagine you're pushing down an invisible force. And if you need to shake out here, that's totally okay. Pick it up where you can. If you need to lower your arms like this, that's fine too. Let's angle it up a little bit. Up. And up. Think about your posture. Think about your feet. Good. Let's reach around a beach ball. Reach around. See how I'm rounding my upper back? Imagine you're pulling two elastics here. Good, now we're opening the back. Good. Bring those arms down gently. Straighten the arms here. Little pulses up. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Relax, let them drop down. All right, um, I think I have time to work on the calf muscles. So let's go ahead and focus on the lower half of our body. I'm going to turn a bit on the side so you have a closer view. Um, this time when we take our leg and bring it behind, your heel is gonna stay pressed into the floor, okay? Now, you don't have to go too far back. Just about uh, two feet or so, a foot and a half. So what I want you to do is lunge forward, and then you're gonna feel the stretch on this back calf here. Nice and relaxed. Then we're gonna switch. We're gonna bend the back leg and straighten the front. This part of my body stays the same. Bend front, straighten the back. back. Good. That feels really good on the calf. Now let's come up onto the ball of your foot and press the heel back down. Now if you lift your bum a little bit here, you're going to feel an even deeper stretch. Bring your arms in. Relax your shoulders down. Reach toward me. Good. Take the arm that's the same as the leg that's in back. Bring it behind you. Reach toward me. Lift both arms up with relaxed shoulders. Relax, relax, relax. Drop your shoulders. Let one arm down. Let's give it a reach over to the side. And up. Find your balance here. Take that leg, bring it in front. Let's do that same sequence with the other leg, it's behind, okay? So we're gonna press the heel down. I'll show you from an angle. Heel is pressed down. Lunging forward, just kinda hang out here, feel that stretch. Don't forget to breathe. Bend that back knee. And make sure your knee isn't wobbling here, you're keeping it right over your toes. And forward. And back. Again, nice fluid movements from one to the other. Let's come up onto the ball of your foot. Nice stretch to the toes. Press that back heel down. Good. Let's lift the bum a little bit here. All right, relaxed shoulders. Press toward the front. Good, now taking the arm that's the same as the leg and back. Bring it on back, reach toward me. So we're lunging forward. Let's lift both arms with relaxed shoulders here. And reach over. This requires a lot of balance too. Just do what you can. Let's go ahead and pop it up. Good. Shake it out. 
All right, I think I have time to do one more. Uh, I'm gonna do the shoulder releases here. So let me get to the next song. Bear with me a moment. So now that we did all that arm work and decompression, I just want to release the arms a bit here. Take a nice deep breath in and let it go. I want you to lift one arm, bend the elbow, okay? And keeping a nice straight back, good posture. You're gonna bring that arm in front and then behind your head, bend the elbow, lift the elbow. Let's do that again. Bring it around, bring it behind, relax that shoulder there one more time. Elbow up and bring it around and behind. Good, let's do that with the other arm. Elbow. Bring it in front of your face. Try not to follow it with your head or your body. Just your arm moves here. Relaxed fingers, elbow up. Bring it in front and behind. Good, other arm. Let's go behind first. Then we're gonna take it a step further, behind and around. Feel how different that feels. Up. Behind and around and down. Relax that shoulder. One more time, elbow up, behind and around. This time I want you to lengthen the arm, but we're gonna keep going in this direction, okay? Lift up onto the ball of this foot. In other words, lift that heel, relax, and just twist on your torso here or your spine. Nothing else in the bottom half is moving. So you're reaching towards the back wall, a nice twist on the spine. Slow movement back, come toward me, relax the shoulders there, bring it across, lift the heel, and we're reaching toward the opposite shoulder as if you're gonna hug yourself. Nice twist, nice. Bring it back to the center. And let's go ahead with the other side. Bend the elbow, bring it behind, around and down. And up, behind, around, down. One more time. We're gonna open up the arm and we're gonna keep going in that direction with the upper part of our body. Look at that heel. Let it go. It's almost as if you're presenting something all the way to the back wall. Relax the shoulder. Good. Slowly, as if you're pushing the air. Slow motion, lift the other heel here. Good, reach. Keep going, nothing's happening with the bottom half, just the top. Nice rotation on the spine there. And let's bring it open and relax. Well, I think that's a very good sampling of what eccentrics can do. And I hope that you join me. So please come join the class with others who have benefited from this. And um, I look forward to working with you. Bye.